Hi, everyone. It's my honor to welcome in the newest director of athletics at Chicago State University, Dr. Monique Carroll. Welcome to town, Dr. Carroll. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. So excited for the journey ahead. And to get started, I want to pick your brain on what Chicago State means to you as you start this. So what is it that intrigues you most about CSU? Uh, Chicago State, a a university uh, and an athletic department with a rich history uh, with everything going on in college athletics right now. um, It it sometimes seems, uh, you know, you, you can't keep up with everything with the NIL conference realignment all the things going on. Uh, Chicago State just has the potential. Uh, a lot of great things has, have happened under the last athletic director and just has that potential to really uh, continue to move forward and be a force out of the Division One institutions. And so that that was my why of being interested in the position. And then I got an opportunity to meet the people uh, that really make Chicago State go uh, from the university administration, President Scott, as well as the coaches and some of the athletic staff. Uh, And I knew that was definitely a place I wanted to be a part of. You mentioned, Dr. Carroll, what's already in place and some of the things that have been accomplished, the people. What is it that you have loved about Chicago State that you want to keep consistent? Uh, So uh, it's a presence, even down in uh, in Austin, Texas. I was hearing about some of the things that were going on in Chicago State. I was hearing about the Cougars, hearing about the brand. Um, that was going on. Um, so the volleyball program, uh, that's one big staple as a former Division One volleyball student athlete. Uh, you know, that was something I keep up with volleyball. So uh, hearing about the Chicago State, uh, just hearing about the team, some of the big wins uh, over major opponents over the last couple of years uh, to see that, uh, you know, I re- read the articles every morning and Chicago State finds a way to get in there. Uh, so that, that was definitely one of the things. Of course, a lot of successes, a lot of things that you want to keep in place. Uh, On the flip side, though, Dr. Carroll, what is something or a few things that you're really looking to rebuild and turn around? Um, Just um, to come in, obviously coming in new, uh, to to see what do the coaches need, what does the staff need to really take it to the next level. Uh, Don't really have a preset. uh, These are the top things outside of finding us a conference home, of course. Uh, have to do that. I would spend a lot of energy on doing that and and really integrating us with the community, uh, whether uh, within Chicago and just on campus, uh, making sure we're being good partners to the other university units, uh, making sure our student athletes are involved in what's going on on the campus uh, so it can be very well-rounded people when they do leave Chicago State. Um, so just just seeing how I can just come in and, and infuse my enthusiasm. Uh, that That's my leadership style. Uh, it's, it's very relaxed, very fun, but but we're also going to work very hard and be very serious. Um, so uh, looking forward to, to bringing that to the team here and uh, c- let's say continuing the successes. You mentioned the community and Chicago. And of course, this is Chicago State, right? It's the third biggest right. city in America. There's so many amazing things in place in Chicago. So I'm curious, your experiences in Chicago, what you have thought about Chicago. Uh, give me the lowdown on Dr. Carroll and Chicago. So I, I am obviously learning all all things Chicago. Uh, but once again, the opportunity, the the amount of professional sports teams here in Chicago, uh, there has to be some synergy with a, a predominantly black institution like ours. With that, um, the just the the sheer number of people, um, we just have to find our niche in the community. Uh, you know, find what makes us us. Uh, one of the things I talk to the coaches about, uh, we have to take care of home uh, when we're recruiting. Uh, we should have students from student athletes from Chicago on the roster. Uh, we we cannot. There is a lot of competition. A lot of other universities right here uh, in our backyard competing for those same students. Uh, but I think we offer something very unique as a university, and we can carve out our niche uh, to really attract those students and then pull in those community members as well. How do you accomplish that? Pulling in community members. Meet, meeting them where they are. We we gotta we gotta get out there. Um, we we have to really uh, integrate ourselves and what's going on, and, and give give them a reason to want to come to campus. The convocation center is beautiful. Uh, I would wonder how many people haven't been inside, haven't seen it. Uh, you know, haven't you know probably having a youth day, uh, having community days, uh, where we invite them to us and then show them a good time and make them want to come back. 
Um, so a, a lot of different strategies uh, between, you know, our athletes going out in the community and doing work and people seeing them. And then, like I said, inviting them onto our campus so they can see us in our uh, natural element and see that student athlete shine. Student athletes shining, of course, that's what it's all about. So what is the vision for you coming in and running this department? How do you get them to shine? Uh, it, it's, it's 2022. You have to listen to the student athletes. You know, I, I, I told my student athletes uh, at Houston Tilson, you know, I, I think I'm cool sometimes. I think I know what's going on. Uh, but listening to them, they, they will tell you, uh, you know, what the pulse is, what's going on, uh, what, what the challenges uh, they're facing, uh, because we can want them to be successful. Uh, but if we can't help them overcome the challenges that they have, uh, then they they won't be able to be their best selves as a student athlete. Um, so like I said, just coming in, listening, uh, got an opportunity to meet a couple of the student athletes throughout the process. Um, so great, great student athletes uh, that want to be here uh, and just continue on, on a positive trajectory. So I think you, you, you listen to them. Uh, you know, you kind of figured that out. And we work, work in tandem, the support staff uh, from the athletic department as well as the university uh, sees how many of those challenges they're facing that we can help eliminate and, and keep their academic standards high. Um, that was another uh, positive factor in me coming here. Uh, it wasn't all negative things. Uh, it, it was, it has a very solid department GPA over 3.0. Uh, those are the kind of things that excite an athletic director like myself, uh, because now we just got to see how can we get to 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3 and just keep pushing the envelope. On the note of student athletes, give me a message that you have for Chicago State student athletes as you assume this role. To whom much is given, much is required. Uh, that that is a mantra of mine, uh, and that that's how we're going to operate as a department. I'm going to ask you all as student athletes to do a lot of things, uh, but we're like I said, we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, you will uh, enjoy being a student athlete under my leadership. Uh, the staff will support you. The coaches, of course, will support you. The university. Uh, we'll support you. Uh, but we are really going to produce student athlete leaders um, here at Chicago State and, and stretch you uh, to be your true best self by the time you matriculate through the university. And Dr. Carroll, for you personally, coming from down in Austin, what does getting this position mean to you? Uh, th this has always been the dream from from the moment I um, decided I wanted a career in intercollegiate athletics uh, almost 15 years ago um, to now. I mean, all the work, all the different positions, all of the moving state to state, city to city uh, has been to land an opportunity such as this. So um, it, it means everything. Uh, and, and I'm excited about it, ready, ready to roll up my sleeves and get to work, uh, re ready for all things Chicago, uh, re ready for the adventure. Uh, and ready to be a part of a great university. Uh, Dr. Carroll, tell me something about yourself that not a lot of people know that they ought to know as you start. So I was a multi-sport uh, student athlete. Uh, volleyball was my primary sport, uh, but I actually, um, I ran track at an NIA institution uh, as a freshman and broke five school records uh, as a freshman in the high jump, triple jump, uh, the heptathlon indoors and outdoors. And so um, they, they kind of dragged me to a couple track meets <laughs> once I got to Arkansas Pine Bluff. Uh, and then I actually had an opportunity to be on the bowling team. Um, so um, a lot of people, you know, say, hey, you for a four sport division one athlete. Uh, so that's something a lot of times I just tell people volleyball. Uh, but that uh, technically, if you go back and look at the rosters, I was on four of, of the teams. So. Uh, bowling. So should I expect a staff bowling outing where you just wipe the floor? <laughs> uh, expect the staff bowling outing. I don't know about me wiping the floor. <laughs> it's, it's been a while, but definitely we can do something like that. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And Dr. Carroll, I know a lot of people for staff, coaches, student athletes, alumni, fans, community looking forward to being in this journey with you as you start as athletic director. So congratulations and welcome to town. Thanks, Sam.